Greetings to you all. Togbe Dega, the twelfth, Paramount Chief of Peki. Togbe Jeha, the third, Chief of Peki Jake. Togbe George Hanu. Togbe Apede, and all sub chiefs of the Asogli state. All my chiefs and queen mothers, Old Marco Girls Association, Akachi College of Education, and all other colleges of education in Ghana. Grace Communion International Church, Lawyer Gadeto Jikunu, Madam Yaya Amito Akumetia. To all my family, friends and loved ones out there who are going all out for me, I seize this opportunity to express my profound gratitude to you all for your love, your support, your prayers and your votes so far. God bless you immensely. The journey is still on as you all know, but as you know, they say, never say die until the bones are rotten i am ready to give it my all to make you all proud but i would need your vote to play a part in my stay in this competition so i humbly urge you all to vote for kafui by dialing star 713 star 19 hash or download the gmb 2020 app on google play store or app store to vote for kafui k-a-f-u-i Ah, aza le kongbe hewa, le kongbe hewa, hewa, hewa. Amen. Ah, neba neba. You're welcome back from the market. Ah, let me help you. Hey. Uh, uh, hey, yams. Why are you dressed like this? My sister, I am dressed like this because this was the same clothes I wore for our Ete Dudu festival last year. Hey, mm -hmm. What is this festival about? My sister, I don't blame you. Just sit down. Come, sit down. Let me hey. educate you on the Ete Dudu festival. You see this yam? Mm -hmm. This is the symbol of the Ete Duduza also known as the Asogli Yam Festival, mm. celebrated by the Bedume people of oh. the Volta region. Wow. Oral history has it that the name Ete was derived long time ago by a hunter on his usual expedition in the forest. He came across this tuba of yam mm. and he hid it in the soil for months, oh sister. Mm. And then he returned and when he realized the yam had germinated wow. and grown big, wow. of course, he then exclaimed, Hey! And Duatelo, which means the thing is swollen. <gasps> and as a result, the name Ete was given oh, to the yam. Really oh, fun. yes, of course. <laughs> During the celebration of this festival, we have so many activities that take place. Really? Yes. We sprinkle cooked yam at the various shrines ah. as a sign of gratitude to the gods. Mm. We also embark on a pilgrimage to Ngochie, where we migrated from. Ah. There is also hiking, and we have the Asogli pageantry. Of course, that is not all. Mm -hmm. After that, we move straight to the dead background. Mm -hmm. You know what happens during the dead background? There is a lot of merrymaking where you see different types of cultural dances like the Akbaja, the Bobobo, and one of my favorite traditional oh, my dances. And that is one? the Ach Sister, I haven't gotten there yet. You relax. Ah. During the celebration of this festival, our tourism and our hospitality industries blossom a lot as many patronize our goods and services. And one thing that stands, stands out for me is that after the celebration of this festival, there is peace, love, unity, and progress among we the indigents of Evedume in the Volta region. I'm still waiting. Aha! Uh -huh. Get up, get up with immediate alacrity. Let's do that. Let's do the Achi Agbeko war dance. Yes, Jonas, let's go. Let's go. Volta region's very old. Kafui, ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for Kafui.
Kafui in her element. Now let me come to Auntie Linda. Auntie Linda, what are your thoughts on Kafui's presentation on the Yam Festival? I think Kafui did a good presentation. Mm -hmm. I like your costume. I like your delivery. And above it all, um, what was significant for me was um, things like that. These festivals, they bring peace, love, unity, a lot of activity, economic also, into our various um, villages. Congratulations. Thank well you. Congratulations.